Welcome back to another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. Every Friday, our theme is We Made It, exploring mindfulness tips to celebrate and forgive. Let's face it, we don't always act our best. Some weeks we're impatient, some weeks we're raging, some weeks we snap at our parents, our friends, or our kids. Some weeks we can act like utter assholes. After it happens, it's important to learn from it. But it's just as important to move beyond that moment and look forward. So, how can mindfulness help us to forgive ourselves? The secret is in the balance to self-kindness and self-judgment. This, according to mindfulness expert Kate James, the author of the book Change Your Thinking to Change Your Life. Instead of criticising yourself or trying to force away your feelings of anger and impatience, remind yourself that it's human to be imperfect, says Kate. We all make errors, mistakes and misjudgments. We can all regret our actions. The message you should tell yourself is, I made a mistake. It's not, I am a mistake. There's a difference between learning and beating yourself up afterwards. In her book, Kate shares a simple tip. Touch yourself to soothe yourself. No, not like that. Although we do have an episode on how to mindfully masturbate. Place one hand or both hands on your chest over your heart. Feel the warmth and the pressure of your own palms. You can also make small circular movements with your hands. Continue this for 10 seconds or as long as you need to. It might feel weird, but it helps to engage your nervous system, says Kate. The soothing touch brings down your body's stress response. Now you can think more clearly. The goal is to become emotionally self-sufficient. Instead of lashing out, learn to soothe yourself earlier. Next time you feel anxious, place your hands on your chest. Feel their warmth. Move them in a circular motion. Soothe yourself before you act like an asshole. Then you'll have nothing to forgive. I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. Tune in tonight where we'll be looking at how to mindfully handle performance anxiety. Until then, space out.